For 75 years, NSTA has been providing extraordinary support for teachers of science. From award-winning journals to timely publications, and from the largest and most comprehensive slate of professional learning conferences to successful advocacy efforts on Capitol Hill, NSTA remains committed to supporting educators by promoting excellence and innovation in science teaching and learning for all. Well, over the last 75 years, NSDA has evolved the same way science has evolved. Think about what we've gotten. Penicillin, antibiotics, our understanding of DNA, the cosmic background radiation that talked about the Big Bang, the transistor, and all the technology that comes from that that we use every single day. Every scientist and every engineer who was involved in all of those was taught by a science teacher. So what's the change in the role of a science teacher over 75 years? That's the change in NSTA. It started with a few hundred people, and we reach a couple hundred thousand science teachers every week. When I was a teacher, I didn't know much about NSTA. I taught first grade, and sometimes other subjects, you know, when you're teaching everything, other subjects might come before science. And so my ultimate goal of being here has been to really push uh, elementary teachers knowing about us, knowing about our content, about our opportunities, so that um, they can enhance their science teaching. I love the opportunity that we provide to people to meet the cross-section of industry and education, because without these connections, I think that people work in isolation, and we are providing a great network for people to tap into. I've seen NSCA members impacted by our conference by walking away with armfuls of material and, and armed with ideas to take back to their classroom to engage their students more effectively and provide more exciting opportunities at their schools. NSTA members are, and always have been, the foundation of this organization. With the support of our members, NSTA has become a dedicated advocate for science education and a leading influencer on science, STEM teaching, and learning nationwide. NSTA is like a household member for me, both professionally and personally. NSTA models what an organization should do for its members. It transforms new teachers, veteran teachers, all stakeholders, administration, supervisors, to the point of supporting them, irrespective they've adopted standards, next gen or state standards, but it's very transformative in terms of supporting all stakeholders around science education. I've been an NSTA member for about 10 years now, and really the opportunity presented itself uh, in grad school to, as a way to kind of interact with other teachers and other folks interested in the same kind of stuff that I'm interested in. I started working for NSTA 28 years ago. I know that we here at NSTA, all of the staff, we are determined to put out a good product, to put, to, to have the backs of our science teachers. That's why we're here. We fight for them on the Hill with their synergies to get legislation passed. And if they're not standing with us, then their voices aren't being heard. So to me, that's, that's what we do the best. We support teachers. When I was a new teacher, um, I joined NSTA and I saw the resources. It provided me with a lot of resources. It provided me with a lot of um, materials that I could use in my class. And over time, the way I've seen NSTA evolve and become more involved is they're reaching out not only with resources, but they're also reaching out to support um, the need for science. And that might be through talking um, legislatively, talking to different other organizations to actually ensure that there is cross collaboration. And I think NSTA has also evolved because they're realizing that how we teach science is different and how we need to prepare teachers for teaching is different because the students we have today are going to actually be the ones who are going to solve our future problems. The theme behind NSTA is we've done so much in the past for our science teachers. We've done so much for science education in general and now we're looking forward to the future. So it's incorporating the past and knowing what our science teachers needed then and also looking towards the future to know what we need to actually help them with in the future for their students, for science, for society, for everything.